Hi, I'm QDC. What we're about to build today is Tamiya's T55 Russian tank. And this is a 135th scale. And the reason why I bought this particular kit was because I just wanted to build a Russian tank. So let's go ahead and start building this kit right now. Let's go take a look inside this box. We have the upper hull, lower hull, turret, and wheels. Tracks, figure, decal, string, and mesh, and the instruction sheet. I want to talk to you about Tamiya's tracks. The supply tracks that Tamiya uh, provided in the kit is um, basically what I call a rubber band track. It's an entire piece of track that's made out of, um, well, quite, I'm not sure what type of material it's made out of, but back in the day when I first uh, made model kits for the first time, we had to, I had to use a hot iron to uh, connect this type of tracks together. But now the technology is different. You can actually use ordinary um, plastic model cement. I want to talk to you about the supplied fabric mesh that Tamiya has included in their kit. This represents a metal grate that you're supposed to glue on to the model. In the instructions, Tamiya has given you two templates of the exact size and they ask you to use a pair of scissors and cut uh, four pieces uh, according to this template and then glue it on to the metal grates. Um, for the model kit right over here and the other one right over here. In a perfect world, I would prefer a photo which part instead.
Okay, so we built the model kit, and now it's time for me to show you uh, what I think about this kit so far. Take a look. This is the completed model kit before painting, and this is the best well-engineered model kit that I have ever built from Tamiya. It's extremely well-engineered. All the parts fit very well with each other part, and the details are exquisite. It was easy for me to build this highly um, detailed model kit, and I have no real serious complaints about this kit whatsoever. Highly detailed, and again, it's just a joy to build. And so I recommend this model kit for all skill levels, including the beginners, because this model kit is so well engineered that Tamiya has really outdone themselves. It's time for me to paint the model. It's time to paint the model. I already gave my entire model a coat of black primer and now I'm going to use my airbrush and paint the entire model with the main color. I'm going to protect my model by giving it an entire coat of feature floor wax. I'm going to give my model wash. What you see right here is a dilution of black artist oil paint and mineral spirits and what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply give the entire model a wash. I'm going to apply some chip effects. What I have in my hand is a paintbrush that's been dipped in black paint and I'm going to give places where I think there's going to be chips. I'm going to give a model some dust effects. I'm going to tint the entire model with a coat of buff color. I'm going to do some mud effects. What you see right here is a dilution of yellow glue and water, and right over here is a bottle of tile grout. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to apply the glue onto places where I want to have mud, and right after that, I'm going to simply sprinkle on tile grout. I just finished painting the figure and I think I've done a, uh, a fine job. Alright, so we built the model kit, we painted it, 
we weathered it, and now it's time for me to show you the entire model kit from the beginning to the end. Take a look. This is the completed model kit of the painting weathering, and this is a very nice model kit that Tamiya has produced. Highly detailed, and um, you really do get a great model kit. There's nothing I, could, I, could, I can't complain about about this particular kit. Very well made, and on my part, I've done a good job building and painting this model kit. I like the way I weathered the entire model, very realistic, with the nice mud effects and a nice figure. And there's nothing bad about this model kit whatsoever. Highly detailed, and I highly recommend this model kit, again, for all skill levels, because it's really a nice model kit. That completes this model project. What you're about to see next is a video slideshow of the entire model kit. But before I go, as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a model kit expert. I am not an expert. I'm just a regular guy, just like you. I hope this video encouraged you to build a model kit of your own. Uh, there's a model tank, a model plane, a model train, or even an automobile. It doesn't matter. In the end, it's all about having fun. I'm QDC, thanks for watching, and always please, have a great day.